Doki Doki Yuenchi, Crazy Land Daisakusen for the Famicom. Maybe you know it as Trolls in Crazy Land that came out in Europe. Maybe you haven't heard of it at all because it never came out in the US. So let's check out this game and see what it's all about. Doki Doki Yuenchi was released by VAP in 1991. The game starts out with a girl strolling up to an amusement park. She is taken by a hand and her boyfriend Pon Pon must go and rescue her. When you start the first level, you feel like the game is going to be pretty awesome. The controls feel good, there are a variety of enemies, and it's just a different platforming experience altogether. And then you realize that the game just tests you, over and over again. Each enemy takes a lot of hits to take out, and the enemies repeat themselves. So it starts becoming monotonous. The game uses a password system, so even if you use all three credits when getting a game over, you can pick up on the level where you left off, until some of the later stages. The graphics are really clear and crisp, but there's really not a whole lot to look at, so it's really not that exciting. The music is pretty good. I like how when you're doing a surfing scene, it's surfing music, and when you're in an eerie feeling level, the music is eerie. It's nothing memorable, but it's not bad. What are these things popping out of the ground? This is the reason we didn't get this game in the US. A lot of the bosses are pretty fun, and they give you a fair challenge. Oh no, more green weenies. Ooh. It rammed him so hard that he turned green. It took me a few tries before I realized you could speed up the cart by pushing B and over. One thing that's cool is the character changes colors and weapons every time he gets hit. Blue is the normal color. Getting hit once changes him to green where he throws double balls. If you get hit twice, he turns orange and launches soccer balls. If you get hit three times, he turns red and he throws two soccer balls at once, and it's an extremely powerful hit. So every time he gets hit, he gets more powerful. You can pick up different items to help you along your quest. You can find hearts, extra lives, and clocks that freeze time. The slowdown is ridiculously absurd in the later stages. It's most notable during this boss fight. I'll jump and throw a ball, but nothing happens for a couple seconds. In a video game, a couple seconds is a lot. This is a common problem playing PAL games on a US top loader. 
but we're playing a Famicom game on the original hardware, so there's really no excuse for the slowdown. I think this is the easiest end boss ever. Once you figure out his patterns, he's almost too easy. Thank God, it's finally over. Typical rescue the princess. End credits. Well, I think that about wraps it up. What? What is this? Another boss? As if we haven't had enough. They throw another boss in there. Luckily, his pattern is easy to memorize. If you got a game over at this point, you'd go back a couple levels. So now we officially beat the game, and you get to see the true ending. Well, that's it. Doki Doki Yuenchi for the Famicom. What did you think about the game? If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel. It's this little PC engine right over here. Also, don't forget to click that like button. Until next time, I'm Wayne. And thanks for watching.